Hello, random viewers, and welcome to the 19th episode of my Kerbal Space Program Let's Play. That's three in a row that I got the number right. Finally. I'm starting to learn how to do numbers. Numbers are hard. I can't math very good. Anyways, so, last episode, I got some pretty positive feedback from. Some of you people were pretty happy that I did it so quickly. Oh, what's this? Oh, never mind. Um, but that was, that was a lot of work on my part. I can't do that every episode, I'm sorry. We've got one more satellite to do, and we've got to rescue another Kerbal. And that'll be probably it for this episode, because seriously, that was too much. And that's about all I've got to say about that. Okay, so I was thinking, when we have... These satellites, we have to target the satellite it wants to communicate to with one of its antennas and then t go to that satellite and target its antenna to that one. Which means that we're going to be very limited. So I actually want to put more antennas on this one. So we're going to call this the ComSat 2 because I want to completely change this design pretty much. I'm going to remove that for now. Actually, first I'll delete the fairing. Because we need to get rid of that. Now, we put our mystery, mystery goo units. I'm going to remove those solar panels for now. I want not those. Can we put these? Yes, we can fit those. Good. Because I want um, I want more communication. All right, that completely blocks those, so it's going to get less solar energy. Than I'd like. Oh, and because they're all going to be active, it's going to need more of the normal panels. Not that way. These arrow key keys are terrible. They're okay, though. Anyways, I want to make sure it doesn't clip through or anything. And then we'll put our just normal solar panels, I guess, right here. We need them just to maintain... No, actually, we don't. Because we've got that. And due to the more stuff, I should probably put a bigger battery. So yeah. Or, no, I'll put these big ones right in there. Like that. No, that's hideous. I'll just offset them inside the strut. That's okay. There we go. Okay, we now have four antennas on this. So that's great. So we'll reattach it and get the engines out of the ground. Then we will rebuild the fairing. So, build fairing. We want it to... Come on. It gets a little bit glitchy sometimes. Oh no. Come on. It doesn't want to go. Anyways. So we're going to have to offset these satellite dishes slightly inwards. That should do it. Okay. Now. You can see what goes into building these things. It's crazy. We get it to right about there. And that's where we're going to start curving inwards. Okay. There we go. Done. And this rocket has plenty of fuel. We have the mystery goo units. I'm going to read the contract one more time before we launch this. Because last episode we launched a satellite and did not read the contract. Which is okay. Because we needed that other satellite anyways. And I started to get lazy and it would have really been terrible to have to have calculated another. Like to have redone it all. So... I mean, it, we had to pay for that launch entirely without a contract, but we can afford it. We've got a lot of money. We've got a surplus. I have Mr. Goo. Reach those. Yeah. We're good. Oh, yes. We're going to warp to the morning. And escape. That's fine. Okay. Then we're going to go in here. And I'm going to add solar panels to the uh, lander cam. Finally. I bet you guys are about sick of me procrastinating this. It's not that I procrastinate, it's that I forget. 
We need solar panels there. That will be so helpful for later. We'll offset them inwards slightly because they look bad floating out in space like that. There we go. Alright, there is our rocket. All done. Looks very nice. Okay, so we're going to save that and select a Kerbal. Jebediah, you've done that recently. Billy Bobbled. He can do it because we all think Billy Bobbled's funny. Hi, Billy. Yeah, and no, he does there. Alright, we're going to send Billy to space. I'm sure he's thrilled. I just thought of something. Because we did all that stuff, our staging might have been messed with. I'm going to check. Our staging looks okay. Wrong button. There. Okay, so we're going to do that. Wait, not yet. We need to be underneath the inclination. So we'll be going south since that's the most closest one. That's terrible wording. English is also hard. I, I have to say from my experience, I don't know much Spanish, but it's easier than English. That's for sure. Well, once I learn it, of course. Right now, of course, it's much harder, but when I learn it, it's going to be easier. Because English is hard. It really is. Anyways, we're about lined up now. We will do the launch, and then I'll probably just go to the booster separation and then skip to being in that orbit. I can skip around a little bit, just not as much as I did last episode. That was just crazy. Okay, now we have to roll so that we don't... No, wrong direction. I am so bad at hitting the correct buttons. No, stop jiggling. Billy. Billy. Hey, Billy. Do, do, do you see what you're doing? Stop it. Billy. 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 Quit it, Billy. I'm just turning off the SAS. I've got to fly this thing by hand because Billy's a fail at SAS. Billy, don't you know how to use the sickness avoidance system? That should come as a standard training. Do you guys agree? They should have tr standard training on how the sickness avoidance system works. But no, I have to do it all myself because somebody is not smart enough to learn it. Billy, I'm disappointed with you. I thought you'd be cool. But no, you don't even know how to do the sickness avoidance system. And the rocket tried to flip. I stopped it, though. Okay, we're high enough up that I think we can give... I stand corrected. Dang it, Billy. Billy, you are so bad at this. Can you fly it straight? Billy. Billy. Billy, are you even listening to me? Fly the rocket in the general direction I have ordered you to. Please, don't wiggle it. Okay, it obviously needs struts. Obviously. I think I'm gonna throttle back. Billy, quit it. Ugh. This rocket needs some fixing. Billy, stop jiggling the rocket. That's it. Control from here. Does that help? That helps tremendously. Finally. The reason was is that he was getting all his control inputs from the uh, satellite core down at the center. I mean, down at the top of the rocket. Down. Up. At the top of the rocket. So, every little bend, because it was bending here, it would just overcorrect and overcorrect. Now that he's controlling from here, it's slightly, and I mean slightly, better. And engine's gone. Go away. There they go. Throttling up that thrust limiter and increasing power. And we will climb. All right, I'll pause it here and get back with you when we're in space because that's when things get interesting. So yeah. Oh, sorry, I have it muted. Okay, we're now in the orbit. So we're going to deploy the solar panels on our satellite. Oh, look at that. Which is, I mean, it's clipping through. I always love that. It drives me crazy. It's all right. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I renamed it Comsat Three. So we need to hook it up to uh, 
Which one's that? The two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, well, we're gonna activate its dishes. I'm gonna click activate, activate, and you, your target is going to be the Comstat two. So we're gonna switch over to this one, to the Comstat two, and what's this? This target, Miss Control, this target. We want this to be the Comstat three. Good. We got that connection. We will switch back to the Comstat three. Okay, and where's its target? This one's going to target uh, the Comstat one. So we're going to go to Comstat one, and we're going to connect it to the Comstat three. Comstat A. What's this one? Ah, it needs to have a communications uplink to change its targets. We can wait a little bit. Anyways, first of all, we have to decouple this. Okay, there that goes. That's great. We're going to translate down. Get away from it safely. Then we're going to turn off the SAS and flip around backwards. And there it goes. And I'll switch back to it in a second and angle it better. I just want to uh, get the SAS on on this. Eh. Sorry. Okay, and we're going to thrust away. Use a little bit of that main engine just to get us some distance. Now the farther we get away, the more the exhaust will angle outwards, so we're gonna have to cut off the main engine. All right, now we can just drift away. I'm going to angle this thing, like this, so that its solar panels will be pointing at the sun better. Like that. Turn off its RCS, it doesn't have any. There we go. Now I'm going to see if we can handle all its dishes active. Okay, that's good. What about this one? Yep, it can handle it. Good. Yeah, we're going to leave those with no target for now. Now, because we have it, we can target the Comsat A probe, in my opinion. I'm going to switch to. Oh. Oh no. What are its targets? Okay, we may have a small problem here. What's its target? One and two. Where's what's one up to? Where's one? Where did one go? One is there. One and two. Is that what it, is that what it said? One, two. Well. There's three, two. Well, it's busy connected to that one. Um, I know what to do. We've got to juggle our communications. That's why I added four dishes on the new one. This is the exact reason. We're going to target one of its dishes at the A, which does kill that connection, but that's okay. We're going to switch to the A, and we are going to, well, first of all, we need to time accelerate a little bit so that we can activate the two. Okay, we need an uplink to the two. There we go. I mean the one. We're going to switch to one, and point one of its dishes at three. I know this is kind of hard to listen to, but... Uh, that was set two. What the? Thought, okay. We're going to change its target to three. There we go. Now it's targeting three. We're, oh, it's doing more of that. Okay. Then we're going to go back to three and retarget two. I mean, back to two and retarget three. Sorry. 
It's complicated. Okay, we're at two. Target three. And what is it? Okay, good. We finally have our network. And because these are geo, they will move around a little bit, but we'll be fine. As long as we just juggle our networks like that from time to time, we'll be fine. I'm actually going to switch to the A. I'm going to target the three because that'll just be smarter. Okay, you. We're going to target the three. No, not F. Three. There we go. Switch targeting the three. We're going to go to the three. Where's the three? There it is. And we're going to target the A. We're finally almost done. So this one, yep, it's already set to A. So, if I just time accelerate a little bit, everything should come into range. Well, gotta time accelerate a lot. Come on. There we go. We have a weird shape, but it's working. So we're gonna switch back to this one and go back home. And you guys have seen all that. So, I'm going to leave it here. We finally have our communications network done. Like, finally. All we have left to do is to put one satellite in a polar orbit that goes ridiculously high. And I'll explain the reasons for that. And that will be our deep space communications. And we'll connect the three to that one. And then we'll be ready to go on bigger and grander missions. So now I'm going to just bring this thing home and I'll see you when we're in the atmosphere okay I changed my mind I'm back here guess what the contract did not accept it says we're not close enough to the orbit we have the periaps and apoaps very similar but it's mad at us we have the so guess what we're gonna have to do that again but I'm not gonna restart we can afford to do it so I'm just gonna leave that satellite up there because our grid is not as perfectly planned out as it could be, so having a fourth over here, not a terrible idea. So, I'm gonna go back to going home. That sucks that we failed the contract again. But anyways, we'll fix that next episode, I think. Or, I, I don't even know anymore. Alright, we're in the atmosphere now. Look, there's the space center. We're still way up here. I thought of another idea. You know how I said I was gonna do that satellite next episode? Well, to spare you guys the boredom, I'll do it off camera between this episode and next. I hope that sounds like a good idea to you, because it sounds nice to me. I don't have to uh, talk the entire time, because talking is hard. It's hard when it's hard enough to focus on the game, and when you have to focus on something else, it's also harder. Yuzochi had a very fair point, though. He has a pretty difficult job, too. I mean, thinking of something to yell at me about, that's... I mean, it's difficult. It really is. And... The fact that he s admitted that it's difficult proves that he's having trouble finding things to yell at me at. Which means that I'm actually doing a pretty good job. So yay. I'm decently, barely good at this, somewhat. I'm so bad. But yeah. And then we'll deploy the other parachute. And then we'll just time accelerate. I'm going to pause it because... And I'll come back when we're at the space center. You don't need to see it hitting the water. Okay, I'm back at the Space Center. Yeah, we lost a decent amount of money, but hey, our satellite network looks great. It's working, finally. Having a working satellite network is very nice. We're finally going to be able to start launching stuff almost entirely unmanned. Almost entirely. We're not quite done yet. we got to put that one other one up, and that'll close the gap completely, and then we'll be good. I'm having more with... Uh, the four connection. That'll be uh, quite helpful. This control can handle quite a few connections, to my knowledge. I think we'll put it, instead of like straight across from here, we'll put it a little bit more like this. That way it can connect to mission control a little better. Because this one is a bit incompetent with it, just its two antenna. Or we could just connect it straight to this one and have it uh, incomplete. But it would be nice if it, we could close the box. Now we have to rescue one more Kerbal. 
So we are going to use the Saturn one. We have not flown that one in a long time. It's the one that flipped on re-entry and we almost died. Remember that one? Yeah, so here's our Saturn one. And that was the name of that rocket in real life, I learned. Anyways, we're gonna make a few tweaks to it. And it's already pretty good, except for the capsule. First thing, it doesn't need any of this. It doesn't need any of this. That's good. And, in fact, soon we'll be able to do these rescue missions autonomously, which means no pilot, because they won't be necessary anymore. And then we'll just, we've got the one parachute there. So, I guess we could put these ones sideways. Those will be for later in the flight. I mean, we'll come down under this parachute and then pour these right before we hit the water. Just because we don't want to explode. There we go. Drain the RCS. Because we forget to do that a lot. And then we'll reattach the bottom of the rocket. Uh, the, our last Kerbal is in a pretty high, crazy orbit. Okay, what else is there? Okay, those all burn together. Um, probably drain some of the fuel. This had quite a bit of fuel left over last time. But it's okay, it's not that expensive to launch. I don't feel comfortable draining fuel if I don't understand its values. And fine, Jeb can go. Jeb can go. I'll put him... Man, he can stay in that one. Alright, we'll save that and we'll put it on the launch pad. And let me guess, it's night time. Because night launches are hard. I just can't see. Oh, it's day. That's nice. Okay, where is that Kerbal? Kerbal, Kerbal, where is the Kerbal? There. Set as target. We gotta do it. Wow. He's in an elliptical orbit. Alright, it's not as high as I thought it was. It's not as crazy as that one contract we accepted that once. Oh. Wait, wait what? Oh. Never mind. I just have to line up the things with the space center because it's not giving me a decent inclination which makes it hard. I have to get the space center like underneath his orbit because I need to rendezvous with him. So yeah, we'll be going north slightly. Yes. So we're gonna come in here and Jebediah, are you ready? We're gonna throttle up to full and use this old beast for <laughs> once. We only used it the one time. We'll see how it does. Oh, I forgot about that. I need struts. That was the mistake with this rocket. That's right. I remember now. It needed struts. Badly. Like, really badly. Like, so badly that it was gonna explode. Yeah, this is insane. It needs struts. Oh good, the solids are gone. Go away, solids. Good, we got rid of them. Now we're gonna continue. <laughs> but Zochi, you'll be happy. There's a very good chance this will explode. Like, a very good chance. I'm actually... I wanna check something. Something collided with something. Yeah, nothing important. I can get that menu up, by the way, by pressing F3. Good, that's decreasing. And someone's headed towards my room. I might have to pause the recording. Oh yay, yelling. Lots of yelling. Wonderful. We love it when the people in my house yell super loud. For a reason that's probably not very important. Okay, so we're going to turn over more. How are we doing on that inclination? Just fine. More people talking. I wish they'd stop talking. It's so loud. Doesn't it bother you guys? When you hear people in my house talking loudly. I'm sure it's really annoying. I don't like hearing that in other people's YouTube videos too much. I'm actually going to watch them in the orbit view simply because it's lagging so bad. Oh, I need to throttle up. There we go. That's why we were falling. We were at a low throttle. There we go. We can watch this reasonably well. And there goes that weird jiggling. We got that first time. It's pretty funny, actually. I'm going to just... That didn't fix it. Okay, never mind. We'll just continue. I'll throttle back slightly. Anyways, 
This was not cause for concern last episode, so... Whoa. 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 The, it did not do that. Okay, I've gotta go. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll come back in a second. So, yeah. I'm not ending the episode yet. Okay, I just have a little bit of time left. Come on, stop. Hopefully we'll run out of fuel soon. Because this is very bad. Very, very bad. I need to stop climbing. But, as you can see, it is not cooperating. We're gonna lose those engines fast. Look at that, they're clipping through the fins. One of the other glitches with this game. Come on, they almost got a fuel. Yes, finally. I'm thinking the jerk from them running out of fuel will actually kill us. So, I'm just gonna throttle back and let them burn out gently. There we go. Good. It stopped. Oh yeah. Yeah, this rocket needs some work. There we go. Safety at last. Yeah, that was dangerous. Very. Very dangerous. Where is our target? Way out there. So I doubt I'll be able to finish this this episode. I am very pressed for time. I just have a few minutes here to finish up this episode, then I've got to go. So we'll just put this spacecraft into orbit, and then I'll wrap it up. Because I am short on time. Like, seriously. Anyways. Gotta throttle up to full power here. Just because these engines are weak. How are we doing on that? Pretty good. We're just gaining speed. Slowly. Tip is kind of bored. Just adjusting the staging. I want the parachutes to be different. There. Yeah, I'm glad I put those engines to full power early. We would have fallen back down. We still might fall back down. In fact, on a thrust limiter, I think I'll activate this engine. And burn off a little bit of its fuel. Just for the extra boost. To hopefully put us in orbit. We don't want to burn off too much of its fuel, though. But a little, but a little bit will be fine. Is it catching up to us? It's going to. Hopefully. Come on, go into orbit. Does not want to do orbit. Not really. It's slowly starting to get a periapse. Finally, we got a periapse. Are we going to hit the atmosphere? We need to pitch up. Good. We're good. All right, we are in orbit. And that is all I have time for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe. Leave comments. Leave tons of comments. Tell me anything and everything you want me to do. I, I, I need the feedback and it's great. Tell me how I can improve. Tell me what I'm doing well so I can keep it up. Please don't demand a ridiculous amount from me. Zochi is exempt from all of this, of course. And have a nice day. Tell a friend. And I'll see you next episode. Please be back here.